Alright, welcome back to Sonic Unleashed. Um, I think last time we went through Empire City Night. Um, did some exploration, all that good stuff. And now today we're going to go through Shamar Night, uh, Arid Sands. Um, and, uh, yeah. Again, uh, like I said in the in the last episode, or like the last session, or what, what have you, um, the uh, next two uh, continents in the Wii both have four levels each in the nighttime segments, and that made that that makes these uh, that makes these levels kind of go on for a bit too long. Uh, like it already took a while to get through these stages when it was just the um, the free night levels, but now that we have uh, four, um, it's going to take even longer and. Uh, Yes, a bit much, if you ask me. And I, again, I feel like a big reason they did this is probably because Missouri and uh, Empire City were both uh, cut down or just removed entirely. Um, and I guess that this is just their way of uh, making up for that. But I just don't think this is really the best way to go about it. Um, I feel like just having... Just having, like, three levels for each night level was fine. Like, it it tends to, tends to take longer than the HD version on average because um, those... Like, even though the, the levels themselves are shorter, um, since you have to do three of them, it adds up. Um, and... Uh, yeah, even... Like, that, get, that alone can uh, take a while, but it's fine enough. It Like, that works fine. But having four is just a bit much, in my opinion. I, I don't think they should have done that. Um, but either way, though, uh, this is Aratan's Night. Uh, I don't remember too much of, of this uh, of this version stage. Um, it's definitely it's definitely a lot longer in the Wii version. Like the HD version is mainly to do with. Um, uh, brawling and whatnot. Um, this one, there's a bit more going on than that. Um, it's like this first stage, we're going around like the town, for instance, and uh, exploring all like all that good stuff, uh, which I like. Um, there's some good exploration here. I think there's a couple of really well hidden secrets in these levels. Um, of and of course, this amazing music that just ruins everything. <laughs> It should be worth noting that um, this is being recorded um, after, like, we've had the Sonic Central now, we've had E3, um, we've had the Sonic Orchestra, which was really cool. If you haven't seen that, I recommend checking it out, because that was, a re that was really cool for Sonic fans. Uh, so if you like Sonic news, I, I definitely recommend checking it out. But, yeah, um, we've had all that happen. Uh, no sign of a uh, unleashed remake or port or what, what have you at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe that'll happen in, in the future. And I still, and I still say like, if they do that, they need to make sure that the, you can turn off the battle theme because that is like one of the main things holding this uh, gameplay style back, because like. Especially like this theme here, like this and uh, Adabat both have my probably my favorite nighttime themes. Um, Holoska's definitely up there as well. Um, I'm not sure about the others. I I have to think about the others. Empire City has a pretty good one. Um, yeah, Shamar and Adabat have my favorites because like this one's just super jazzy and just nice to listen to. And uh, I'll talk about Ad Adabats when I get to that, but yeah, this is just great stuff all around. If you love jazz, then uh, this is a uh, this is a great track. Yeah, just grab this and more goody goody fights. I should um, also mention that I am 
using a new controller now. Uh, it's going to be a bit weird to get used to because I'm used to the regular classic controller. But I am using a classic controller pro now. Um, mainly because I need to get that, I need to get one eventually for Brawl. That's going to happen in a couple of months time. Um, so I just decided to, uh, uh, I just decided to, uh, get one now. Well, like, me, like, may as well. Because I am playing, like, I am playing this game currently. So I'm, 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 it should be a good way to, uh, try and get used to the controller a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it definitely feels a lot different, I can tell you that much. It's not exactly my favourite controller I've held. Um, it's, uh, like, it's not amazing per se, but it should get the job done fine enough. And all this hassle because you can't use GameCube on freaking Wii. Like, come on, dude. Like, you can use the GameCube controller on Smash Wii U, but, like, that's it. Like, like as, as soon as you go onto uh, the um, the Wii mode, like, GameCube controller support is just gone. Like, I, I don't know why that is. It's really stupid. And there's Secret Hair, and... Got this guy. Yeah, pretty simple lo level, just kind of exploring the uh, city, um, and just finding some secrets, finding a bunch of enemies, all that good stuff. Basic, pretty, pretty standard uh, beginning, beginning stage really. Not much to write, write home about. Just kind of getting you used to the environment and whatnot. Um, but yeah, good. I need to, I need to remember that I need to. Uh, Tap the dash button. Tap the control stick twice to a uh, dash. I really don't like that. And I, I don't know for sure, but I think this is the first time we're seeing this enemy in the Wii version. But uh, yeah, not not too much to write home about. And. Uh, He's yeah, done. Just kill your underlings, and we and we're golden. I guess uh, I, I think I mentioned this before, but is I guess it is nice to since these levels are shorter. Um, you do have the benefit of being able to just do a couple of them, dropping the game for a while, and then coming back to do the, the rest. Whereas in a HD one, you have to do that one long stage. Which, I personally prefer the HD versions method, but I can see the, the merit in how this game works as well. Even if it's not my preferred, like, version, or what have you. But you know. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna assume that there's not gonna be a fight for a little bit, so I'm just gonna let the music play out. Actually, is it? Yeah, there's gonna be a fight here. God. Man, I'm so sorry. I, I really want there to be a time where I can just to show off, like, let the music play out here, because it's like, again, it's one of my favourite themes, but like, I barely get a chance to hear it. <laughs> Man. Okay. You guys are done. Can we please get some, some of the music? <laughs> like, come on guys.
Okay, well that, that was that was a decent amount of the song, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, if you, I do recommend uh, looking up like a fully like a actual uh, like the actual music track on YouTube if you can, because uh, it deserves to be listened to properly. So yeah, we have a new enemy type. We have the Fire Wizard, and uh, yeah, this guy can be pretty annoying. You can um, in the Wii version. <coughs> oh God, excuse me. In the Wii version, you can't, you flat out just can't hurt him if he's not drenched in uh, water. So you have to use the um, water barrels to uh, drench him out. In the HD version, you can hurt him when he's on fire, it just hurts you. Um, so, yeah. Okay, just get this stuff. Uh, can't tell if there's anything here, no, okay. Okay, just listen to that amazing jazzy stuff. Okay, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a really s hidden pathway. Yeah, like, you can't see this. Like, you think there's just nothing here, but, like, if you go here, secret passage. Very, very, very devious. I live for that stuff. It makes these levels fun to explore. Yeah, main, the main things that hold this, uh, like, the Wii version back for me, like, for the Werehog, is um, the lack of combos and uh, the uh, some of the weird controls, like, um, what is it, the, the, how, how, the method of dashing in the Wii version is just so nonsensical and uh, annoying, like, it's so easy to, like, get out of it, like, do a dash when you don't mean to, or you do, like, the, the, like, double claw swipe thing, like, this move. It's so easy to do that without meaning to and just falling off an edge. Like, those are, like, some of the main issues I have with the Werehog in this version. Because otherwise, I think the level design is honestly pretty good a lot of the time. Like, there's some, there's a good amount of platforming. Um, again, like I, like I mentioned before, um, there's a good mix of fighting and platforming in this version. Um, and there's some good secrets, like, it feels good to explore. The game rewards you with S-Ranks for getting rings, Gaia points, and uh, being the level fast. So, you're encouraged to just generally play well. Um, and, yeah, like, the, I... This is, uh, generally pretty good, um, for, like, in, for, like, most accounts. It's just a, it's just, like, some minor like minor annoyances that add up after a while that they don't necessarily like kill the game or anything like that but they do kind of get in the way sometimes um and i i can see that like especially with the uh, dash dashing problem I, I can see that getting on like some people's nerves and it has done that to me in the past so yeah it's just a lot of like tiny things that if you just fix it then this will be um this will be great like i don't really have many issues with the werehog here um to be careful here and again secret you're rewarded to you're rewarded by um getting a like like going up here in this night and like narrow path rewards you with a an, an item and you uh nearly die <laughs> Yeah, it's good stuff. And two of these guys, because why not? Yeah, boy! Yeah, there's really not much to say about the combat in, in uh, this version. It just kind of is. It's fine. Like, I get, like, they make the, the enemies have a lot less defense in this version. Like, enemies die really quickly um, compared to the HD one. Um, so, it's not too bad. Like, you're not going to be in fights for very long. So, it's, uh, it could be a lot worse. But, yeah. 
And that's three more sun medals. Okay, what's level three? Valley of Spirits. Okay. And of course, immediately starting with these guys. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't hit any of them. Man, I, I, I wonder, like, can you. Okay, I'm gonna do that attack. Like, was it like the Earthshaker? Oh! Huh. Okay, you can't. It's not as graceful as the HD version, but you can uh, use the uh, block to cancel your attacks. Like, that's a really cool maneuver you can do, especially in the HD version, uh, where you can, like, cancel your com like your attacks or what have you. Like, if an enemy is already dead and you're just kind of wailing the ground aimlessly, sometimes it is best to just cancel your attack, or you want to get out of the way of of an enemy's move or what have you. Uh, it can be a it can be a good uh, solution and it just feels good to do. Oh god. Right, come on. There we go. Nice. I shouldn't have killed those. Yeah, get the rid of the bees because they suck. Now we've seen basically all the enemy variants up, up to this point. Um, I don't think there's really much else for us to see in, in terms of that. Um, I will say, like, I do think that this game has a decent amount of uh, enemy ver uh, variety. I do think they could have done a little bit more, but I do think that there's a... Uh, there's still a decent amount. Um, it's not amazing per se, but it's a... Uh, it's fine. Um, it's more than I can say about Force Unleashed 2. <laughs> God, that game. I'll probably play that game eventually, but I let, let, let's just say I have issues with it. <laughs> that game has like barely any ver enemy variety. God. Again, I, I don't want to talk about that here. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, elaborate on that another time. But for now, though, um, Dark Iron monsters uh, need to be beaten up. Okay, well, at least this level's this level was pretty short. Oh god! Oh my god! No! Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Dying, dying doesn't really mean that much, so. I am being pretty risky right now. Okay. At least I hope it doesn't. I, I, I assume we're still fine. Man, I really wish I could change the ca Okay, that's another thing. Um, you can do this in the HD one, like, you can move the camera around. But in this version, you just can't. And, like, instances there where I, I wanted to look back to see if there was an item there, I just couldn't. Um, so, like, I was kind of boned in that regard. But, um, yeah. Again, minor things that if you just changed, it would make things so much better. But it is what it is. Do I have uh, this? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. For you. Ah, no. Don't do this. Just a uh, bit of an enemy gauntlet I see going on here. 
They really- oh, okay. They really want me to fight a bunch of these guys, don't they? Okay, just do this. Oh, I can cancel that too, oh my god. Oh, really? Okay. God, shield cancelling stuff is so cool. <laughs> Get wrecked. Nice, we still got the S. Yeah, dying really doesn't mean much in this much in this game. Pack level up. Nicely done. Oh, got a secret mission. So I guess we'll be doing that after we clear we've cleared all this uh, stuff out. Altar of Oblivion. Okay, what's what's the dealio with this one? Can't doesn't hurt to uh, uh, check the uh, back of the stage every time, just to be sure. Yeah, I, after playing like playing through these uh, levels, I will say I probably say I prefer the HD version of this stage, but I do I do think that there's um th there's a lot of uh, good going on here too like I do think that this this uh, version has more um, I guess for variety for lack of a better word because in the HD version again it's mainly brawling like it, it basically tests uh, your combat skills um, which this one has done that too but to a lesser a much lesser degree um, there's been like some some cool platforming there's some some cool puzzles and the uh, uh, secrets and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's it's been pretty good. Like this has definitely been no slouch in terms of like night stages, um, but in terms of like just comparing HD Arid Sands to uh, Wii what Arid Sands, um, I personally say I prefer the the HD one. But yeah, I I, de I can definitely uh, see why someone would prefer this one. Uh, there's it, it definitely has um, a decent amount of stuff going on, um, and uh, this it doesn't do just primarily like fighting, which you know is a, a thing that the HD version does do quite often. So, especially in this stage, you know, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Like, you want to be really careful here, like you want to throw that barrel like when you're right up against the fire because uh, Sonic will just, will kind of, he, like he prioritizes enemies when you throw things, um, so sometimes if you aren't close enough he'll just, I think he'll just like turn around and just throw out one of the flying enemies instead, so yeah you want to, you want to make sure you're like, you're like right up against the fire and then throw it and then It'll be all hunky dory. I think I don't remember this level going on for very long. I think we're like actually pretty close to the end, believe it or not. Um, there is this though. Oh God. Oh. I have to say as well, if we we keep since we keep mentioning like minor like problems to add up after over time. The uh, jump in this version, it doesn't really feel too great to uh, do like hardcore platforming with like this. Like, I feel like it's not precise enough. I don't know how to explain. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, I feel a lot more comfortable making jumps in the HD version, whereas in this game, I it doesn't. It doesn't feel safe. Like I don't know how to explain explain it. Like it's something you just kind of have to play to understand. But like something about how it feels just it make it make it feels like really unsafe. If that makes any deal of sense. But yeah. Thankfully you don't 
usually had to do super difficult platforming, like over pits and stuff. But when you when you do have to do stuff like that, it just doesn't feel great. Like you have to do that do that stuff more often in the HD one, but the controls feel a lot better. Like they aren't perfect, like still. Like even in that version, there's still it can still give you problems, but yeah, at least feels a lot better than this one. I'll I'll, I'll just say that much. Okay, let's grab that. Is there anything else? Okay, there's definitely an item over there. Yeah, I gotta be honest though, like, in some ways I actually prefer the the night stages over the day ones. Mainly just because just because um uh, even in this version where the combat is very, like, basic, I still get a pretty decent kick out of it. It's still fun, like, punching Dark Guy monsters to death. Like, it... Like, the sound... The, the sound design just feels so punchy and, uh... Uh... What is it? It just feels very satisfying. And, uh... Again, I, I talked about this before, I believe, but... Exploring these levels can be really can be really fun for me like the night nice stages in in both Wii and HD are some of the most fun I've had exploring Sonic levels also hi yeah yeah cool um like this is th this is some of the most fun I have exploring in the Sonic level and yeah I that's a big reason why I enjoy playing as a werehog personally um and there is like there's obviously, like, in the day stages, alternate paths and stuff. There's still the secret items and all that good stuff. There's still, like, like I still really enjoy playing as, like, Day Sonic. Like, that's a fan favorite for a reason. But, you know, in, in a lot of ways, I prefer playing as the Werehog, personally. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd say I do overall, but I do, I do, like, aspects of the Werehog more, if that makes sense. I think the exploration's better for one thing, um, and uh, I enjoy the platforming, so I, yeah, I don't know. There's definitely room for improvement. Uh, like, this is one of those things where, like, um, Sonic Team start, like, they use a playstyle for one game, uh, it has a good foundation, and then they get cold feet because everyone's like, "Oh, we're hog bad. We want only days. We only want the boost." And uh, with that, we never got the whale uh, again. So, I mean, it makes sense. Like story reasons, there's no. It doesn't make sense for this to come back. But it would have been nice if, if there was, I don't know, like Knuckles had a version of this in like another game, or something like that. Uh, like I, I'd be totally down to see a Werehog gameplay style again. But I just don't see that happening for the foreseeable future. Especially since the Sonic team just seem to be really scared of using anyone other than, like, Sonic these days. And I'm getting completely destroyed. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. Alright. And that should be the end of that. Hurrah! Nice. How do you like that, huh? and there we go. Okay. Okay, so we can't actually do uh, the Shamar boss right now, but, um, let's, uh, okay, so we've got a an Apatos stage, and we got a Spagonia one. Let's see what these are about. So I want to do these before we finish the Wii version for now. 
The ultimate Earthshaker. Okay. So I think this is the last- is this the last Abitur stage? I think- I think it might be. We might be uh, saying goodbye to Apatos for both versions now. So I'm pretty sure we've done everything on the HD again as well. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. Okay. It's really funny how little medals there are, there are in this version. Like, in the HD one, we've gone way beyond what we have here. Um, but I guess that, that's what happens when the medals are only, like, mission rewards and uh, not found in regular stages. Okay. So I assume this is gonna be... Oh! Okay, so this is um, an interesting one. So there's some secondary missions that are just flat out new areas like this. And I think that's really cool. I kind of wish that these were regular acts, um, like they are in the HD one. Because like this is all new level design, and it's only used for like a ring mission. I, I, well, I think there's some other missions that use this level design as well, but I feel like... I don't know, I feel like it should have been like a regular act as well, just so you get some more mileage out of this, because again, this is this is really cool, like, a lot of people are probably not going to see this, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, but this game, this version like hides level design, uh, like, for, like through these optional missions. I, I'm actually, act I'm actively avoiding the rings right now, because I'm just trying to be Trying to make sure there's no... Okay, that's fine. I was trying to make sure there weren't any any other uh, items hiding. Hurrah. Okay. So, uh, let's, um... Check this out real quick. Oh yeah, we've uh, cleared out all of Abatus now. That Windmill Isle is, is completely uh, finished until we get to the DLC in the in the HD one. <laughs> okay, that Holoska still needs a couple. Uh, that's yeah. Everything else needs still needs uh, work to do. Mm, yes. Okay. Nice. Nice stuff. So. Okay, yeah. Shamar would. Shamar would definitely have uh, the new uh, text over it if, it if we could do the boss right now. But I do know that there's some guy gates we can open now. Um. We can definitely do the last one in uh, Apatos. Like, this is, I guess, like, the very last thing we have to do here. Um, I don't don't know if there's any guy gates open in the other continents, but I um, guess we'll find out. Yeah, let's see, let's see what's behind the door. Gotta love this stuff. This almost makes up for the lack of like normal hub worlds. I do really, I do really enjoy exploring these uh, like puzzle puzzle rooms, if you will. But this game just has a really good uh, sense of exploration. Like again, you do well, you get all, you get the medals, and if you uh, get the medals, the game rewards you with these uh, uh, extra Guygate puzzle rooms that. Gives you more items that just make it, it just makes you feel good. Like it feels good to uh, get items in this game. Like, what more can I say? And again, like if you don't want to do this stuff, you don't have to. Like this is, um, I'd say that this this game in SA two have the best uh, um, 
way of handling uh, like optional so like side content. Like there's so much stuff to do, but if you don't want to do any of it, you still have a substantial single player like campaign to go through that uh, takes not a lot, a long, long time, but a decent, it takes like a, uh, it, it will take you a decent while. Uh, especially this game, like Unleashed is not what I'd call a, a short game by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and uh, oh, I still don't have all the items, really? What am I missing? Wait, what? Hold on. Why would I need this? I'm confused. What? Game? What's, what's the dealio? Because it didn't have the um, pop-up. I'm pretty sure. Is there something I'm missing? What if I... Can I not pull this up? I don't know. Uh, wait. I'm stupid. I didn't see this. There we go. <laughs> cool. Now we can get out of it. Now we just turn back and back and forth. Okay. So now I'm just gonna check all the other areas. Oh, we got one here. Nice. Alright, what's through here? Some more shenanigans, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we've got two um, extra missions. So I, li I like how they just use the uh, Apatos uh, pole because um, Missouri just doesn't have stages to uh, take the... They, they ju it doesn't have a, like, an actual stage, so like, it just uses assets from Apatos. Like, this guy I get is the most you're gonna get out of um, like, Missouri gameplay. <laughs> like, outside of the boss, obviously. So I, like, I guess at least there's something, but like, man. Oh, good. <laughs> well, there's like, f man, we have a lot of stages to play. There was like, there were like three keys here. Okay. Let's just go back. Yeah, I definitely say that this version is pretty underrated. Um, I don't know where I'd rank it overall in terms of like favorite Sonic games or what have you, but it's definitely up there. I I have a lot more of a uh, newfound appreciation for this version than I did. Um, years ago, because it, it it does do a lot right. Um, okay, none of these are open. Um, let's see. Let's go to Holoska. Um, but yeah, we got some missions to play, so we did get quite a bit out, out of this. Okay, we got one there. Okay, we don't 
have that one access accessible. 